If you're over 50, there's a good chance you've had a colonoscopy, but you're just as likely not to have had one. It's understandable because the procedure to check inside your colon for cancer is a hassle. It's expensive and invasive. And so what we really need is a super simple at-home sample collection test that can tell someone you're very likely to have colon polyps and you really need to go do a colonoscopy. Polyps. They're the fleshy bumps or stalks that grow inside your colon where cancer can take hold. Mostly they're benign, but they are a threat, and if found during a colonoscopy, they're surgically removed. Now, there is a common stool sample cancer test that we can send into a medical lab, but while the current ones do detect cancer, they don't detect those polyps. Amy Leitner is a colorectal surgeon and a professor at Scripps Research. She says the current stool test is not enough to safeguard your health. If it's negative, then typically people feel assured, well, my test was negative, so I don't really need to have a colonoscopy. But the challenge is that test is not telling you information about any polyps or kind of precancerous lesions, which are really important to remove. Undetected polyps remain in the colon. The ones that are malignant can eventually become invasive cancers. Detection of cancer after it's begun to spread is not safe, and in some cases it could be too late. Scripps Research has formed a partnership with Viome Life Sciences, based in Seattle, The company is using RNA sequencing paired with an AI computer analysis to find out if people have polyps. Momo Vujicic, the company's chief science officer, says they'll examine 1,000 people who will have colonoscopies. They want to see if their stool test and AI program is just as good as a colonoscopy at finding polyps. Okay, here are 300 samples from people with polyps, and here is 700 samples from people without polyps. Go ahead and learn what are the molecules that are associated with each one of them so that when we give you an unknown sample, you can actually tell us with very high accuracy, does the person have polyps or not? Scripps Research is recruiting San Diegans to be part of the study, which will take place in the coming year. Leitner says the new test kit would be very much like the existing one people send to their healthcare providers, except this cancer screener would be able to see whether you have polyps. Because we know the more we screen, in terms of large population level, the more we reduce the mortality from colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death in the U.S. among men and women. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.